Dudleys. Today I wanted to put a two highly requested videos together and make a good one which will hopefully be beneficial for everyone. I wanted to answer two questions. One question is what to invest in to make your everyday look appear a bit more expensive and of better quality and the second question is what items should you invest in if you're starting a more luxury kind of collection or wardrobe. So I've got five items here that I think are great kind of beginner investments and also will make your everyday look appear a bit more expensive and well put together. So before I show you these five pieces that I would recommend to anyone and everyone, I just wanted to say that I want to film questions and answers video potentially this weekend. So please comment below if you have any questions about me, anything that you're interested in. I also asked on my Instagram, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, you should change that right now. So follow me, it's at Tamara. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so that obviously you don't miss the question and answers video. Because if you don't subscribe and you ask a question, you won't know if I answered it, right? Also, um, usually you guys ask me a lot of questions about my boyfriend. You might not want to ask me that because that ship has sailed or sunk in this case a few months ago. So just thought I'd put it out there, you know. Anyway, let's get on. I think pretty much all of us wear jeans on daily basis or if not jeans, some sort of denims or maybe coats or even, I don't even know, like dresses, I guess. Like basically any type of clothing can require a belt. I think a great quality belt can definitely make your outfits look more expensive. So if you're wearing like an H&M dress and you got a really nice luxury belt, that will basically make the whole look appear more expensive. So the one I've got here with me is um, a new Gucci belt. This is like with the Mermon logo, kind of like the new Gucci logo. And this is actually men's belt. The reason why I've got a men's belt here is because I don't really like the Gucci old school girls um, logo. And I have a few of those belts. I think I have a white, a brown and like a gold one. And I don't wear them anymore. I, I don't think they're so appealing anymore. I don't know how long this is gonna last me for the Gucci fever, but this was a good investment. At around two, three hundred pounds, this belt is great because it's a leather belt. It keeps my pants from not falling down and it looks really cute on clothing. I don't just wear it on my jeans and skirts. I also wear it over coats, which is great. And I wear it sometimes on dresses or I kind of make outfits with it. So I think it's quite a good one. It's like this camel color, but also comes in several other colors. Obviously, I will leave the links below so you can check it out for yourself. If you wear simple Topshop jeans and I don't know, like a River Island knit and have this belt on, your whole outfit will appear more expensive. And also, um, what's so great about this belt is great quality. So it's leather and it's worth the money, I would say. A belt that is definitely on my wish list, however, would be Hermes belt from, you know, the Collier, the chain one. I think that's a wonderful belt if you can afford something a little bit more expensive. But I think to have your first kind of like luxury piece, this would be just great. I know that all of you are wondering which bag will I recommend. Now, this was a difficult one because I wanted to recommend something that will make sense for the girls that are like first time luxury buyers, but also an item that will definitely make you look a bit more cool than just what every other girl is wearing on the street. So I was wondering what should I go for, what should I go for, and I decided to go for Chanel, but since I know that not everyone's gonna go and like pay five thousand pounds or four thousand pounds for a Chanel boy bag, I decided to go for an entry model and suggest the Chanel wallet on chain. And here you have the boy edition. Obviously, it comes in so many different finishes, colors, I don't know, variations, you name it, there is. It comes obviously with a chain. And the reason why I think this is a great kind of first time investment is because it fits enough. It can be an evening bag, it can be a day bag, it can be a wallet, it can be a bag, it can be a clutch. And since you can buy it in like black and gold or black and silver or red, any color, it can add a cute kind of a cool effect to your outfit. Another thing I would like to add about this bag is that it costs around or just above thousand pounds, which is great for Chanel. Uh, again, we'll leave a link below to some variations. And also what's so great about it is that it probably costs around the same amount as like a Valentino or like a smaller Gucci bag costs. So I think investing in your first time Chanel 
would definitely mean longevity because this is not a this is not like a trendy bag this is a classic chanel piece so i think this is a great first time investment as well besides making your outfit look great another accessory that i think every girl should have in their wardrobe or in their collection would be a pair of sunglasses and I've got a pair of Dior's here because you guys know how much I love Dior's for sunglasses I was thinking which pair should I say definitely can make your outfit look more expensive and I thought that Dior So Reels would do a great job because they're not just kind of like any types of sunglasses they're very cool, they've got the kind of mirrored finish well these ones in particular do I think they're very cool, they're very different, they're young um, however not too young so these were the glasses that I decided to go for as sort of like an investment if you wanted to get a pair that will make your wardrobe look fresh and cool and these these sunglasses I sometimes wear and I feel like they make entire look. If I'm wearing jeans, white t-shirt and like a leather jacket and I pop these on and I feel like they really make the whole outfit look better. So these sunglasses I would definitely recommend. I anyway love Dior's, you know how much I love Dior's split this one over here also a great recommendation however after considering I decided to go for so real as an absolute favorite choice because I think these just make every everything look a bit better there we go my next item would be a piece of clothing and to be honest I don't really support spending crazy amounts of money on clothing because clothing comes and goes it's easily ruined you don't buy like a sweater and keep it for 11 seasons like a bag but when it comes to few pieces, like a good pair of jeans, a cashmere knit, or maybe a piece of outerwear, I would say it's worth investing. And the next piece of clothing I'm going to talk to you about is outerwear. So I'm actually, I've got here a Burberry trench coat, which is just in a simple beige color. It's not too long, obviously needs some ironing. Um, it is sort of like a cropped jacket that you can wear in spring, in autumn, beginning of summer in England or actually beginning of winter in England because England's not really that cold or that hot. So this for me is an all year jacket and it's just so easy and so light. When you wear this it kind of somehow pulls everything in. Burberry makes really great trench coats. That's what they're known for and for some reason I feel like this is a great investment because not only you can wear it all the time but it does make your outfits look more expensive, more classic. So if you imagine this with the Chanel walk like the bag, cool pair of sunglasses and that's where everything actually comes together and you understand that even if you wear this every single day of the week you can wear like a different colored knit or a t-shirt and jeans and ballerina flats or something like that and it will make your outfit look so so much better I think these are just great now for the last thing that I would like to suggest I'm going to cheat a little bit but the only reason is because I'm talking about footwear and I can't just suggest one type of shoe because there are people who like flats people who like heels people who like you know all sorts of different shoes so I'm gonna suggest something for everyone I'm gonna suggest three different pairs of shoes and I've got like heels boots and flats so you can definitely find something for yourself so I would say that if you are a if you prefer flats, I would say that Chanel ballerina shoes are really worth investing in. They cost around £400. They're made of leather, all around leather. They're really great. They're perfect, like right size. I've got mine in 39 and I wear 39. They last me for a very long time and they look really great. They come in all sorts of different as well, like finishes and colors and these are red. I've got three or four pairs. They're like classic Chanel. They've got the Chanel logos in the front and these are very, very known classic shoes. They're great for work, school, like university, whatever. Um, they are really great for every day and you can even go out in them, I guess, um, if you're like more of a classic type. So these are great for girls who love flats and just look at this they would actually go pretty well with a trench coat and a little cute bag jeans white t-shirt anything you want for my girls who love high heels i would definitely recommend investing in pair of rockstead heels now mine are completely trashed because i wear them a lot i don't wear them that much anymore because i've kind of you know look look what i've done to them come on like i've worn them so much they're so comfortable they will definitely make your outfit look a lot more expensive. They're a great investment because you will get loads of wears out of them depending obviously on color you get. You can get them in black, nude, beige, 
any color you want in red, I don't know, anything you want to. Um, maybe don't get them in neon if you want to wear them a lot and if you want them to be your first time good investment. These cost around £600 and I think I wore them at least 300 times, so they're definitely worth the money. They're very comfortable, resold them so many times. Mine are in size 39 and they are actually, um, that's like true to size, they fit true to size, so I really love them. And if you haven't got a pair of these already, I would definitely recommend investing in them because they are great throughout the year. And last thing for maybe more like autumn appropriate time, I would recommend investing in a good pair of ankle boots. And I've got here like high heel version. If you want to go for like really classic, I would just buy simple pair of black Louboutin ankle boots. And these babies, these are like simple rock and gold ankle boots that I've had now for I think like five years maybe or even more I'm not sure I feel like since 2011 and oh my god I wore them so much that I even broke the heel and I had to reheal well I had to fix the heel that's how much I wore them I can't even explain to you enough how much I wore these boots they are the most comfortable boots I have but I've now upgraded them with a better version well at least that's what I think um, these babies which you've seen one my recent hold I love these but they're not so classic because of the studs so maybe if you're careful about spending your money since it's like a per first purchase maybe you would want something without the studs I think these boots will definitely make any outfit stand out and look a lot more expensive you can also wear these with dresses, skirts, jeans, anything you want and I simply love them because again they're very comfortable for some reason Louboutin ankle boots are extremely comfortable for me so I highly recommend them and with that I will conclude my last recommendation for your first time luxury investments and for pieces that will definitely make your wardrobe look a bit more expensive or that will make your outfits look a bit more expensive. I don't think it's that important but I do know that there are some girls that want to buy key pieces that will make their outfits look a bit more precious, a bit better and, and they will make them feel like they've got like they've invested in something that it's worth the money and so on so I completely understand that I think there's nothing wrong with that. I hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know if you have any any other requests for videos because I'll be filming loads this weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!